Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gamer Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV guides today. We're going to be taking a look at another event that is going on in Final Fantasy XIV. Currently, the Maidens of Rhapsody event will be running from April 28th through May 18th. This is a crossover event between Final Fantasy XI Online and Final Fantasy XIV Online. To start off, you'll be reporting to Limza Lomenza Upper Decks into the pub area where you'll pick up the quest a journey to remember then you'll report over to costa del sol in the eastern lenosca the next quest will have you completing the fate our favorite pastime which will be right outside costa del sol since this is a fate it won't be up all the time you'll have to wait for it to pop and then you'll be able to complete it The main thing to remember during these fates that you complete for this event is that the main objective is to kill the enemies while keeping Aroha alive. So you'll want to make sure that any boss units or any units at all that are attacking Aroha that you'll focus on those and kill them off first. Any tanks will want to hold aggro on enemies so that they don't end up killing her. If she dies then you will fail the fate automatically. After the first fate is dead, you'll report over to the Limza Lemenza Lower Decks. After this, you'll teleport over to the Central Shroud, where you'll again need to complete the fate called the Way of the Samurai. This fate will again have you fighting against several units, but the main objective is to kill them while keeping Aroha alive. After this fate is complete, you'll be reporting over to New Gridania. The next fate you'll need to complete will be in Southern Thanalan. This one will be known as Circuit Breaker. This one will have you fighting against a boss type unit that does have frontal AoEs, so you'll want to make sure that you are facing it away from Aroha, keeping Aroha on its sides. Since it's an NPC, it can't reposition itself. That way the show will avoid all of the AoEs.
After this, you'll report over to Ulda. The final fate you'll need to complete will be in Upper Lenoska, and it'll be the key to Amatsu. This one will be against two boss type units. You'll have to destroy the spotter first as the dread dragon is invulnerable until the spotter dies. Once the spotter is dead, then Aroha will go through a transformation. After this, you'll be able to focus down the Dread Dragon, making sure to turn him so that Aroha is on the sides because he again has forward and backwards AoEs. After this, you'll report over to Limbs of Lemenza's lower decks, and then back to the upper decks in the original starting location for the event. And this will be it for the quest line, and you'll be able to get your reward for your samurai armor. The male and female version of this armor are completely similar, so it'll look the same either way. And that will be it for the Maiden's Rhapsody. I hope this helped everyone out. If it did, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you on the next one.